drop the BPM a little bit just to mess with the, the speed of the drum break. But just a little, real quick, I'm going to show you guys how I like to sync my samples to the tempo. So, first thing first is we have to, first thing first, we have to chop the sample. And I'm going to just do regions. I always like to start off low for real to just to see how many bars the sample is. And if it cuts even right there, all right, so we know it's two. Sometimes it'll end up being like an odd number, like three or five or something. So just get that out the way so we know what we're dealing with. I'm gonna chop this into fourths. Yeah, I'm gonna just do fourths, okay? So we got that, we got our regions. Converse slices, non-destructive, of course. And there's a bunch of different ways to chop your samples. When it's an even, like when I know it's like an even cut sample, I always go to regions or whatever. Um, if it's like if I'm working with like a whole song, I do that manually, or either I take out a clip of it, extract like a a part of it and then I make sure that's even then I do regions or whatever or if I know the information of the song like the key and the beat per minutes and stuff I do BPM rarely rarely but with this yeah so we're gonna that we got that cut into fourths we're gonna get our little drum break same thing we go over here Hit that twice to get to the chop page. We do regions, make sure it's all even. And what I love about drum breaks is, what I love, I like to sample them. What I love about drum breaks is when, um, when you're sampling them, you can chop them up into sections and then kind of make a whole new break out of it. slices do it and this is where the magic happens right so we're gonna name that piano the next one will be drum break we're gonna set this to the piano that we did of course, we're gonna set this to the drum break that we did. And I'm gonna lay down the drum break first. So what I do is, this is the, the simple little step that I got. What I do is, we got our chops, we got it set to the track that we want. We go into edit samples, click from BPM and it's two beats per minute. We're working in double time. So it's two beats per minute. So we scroll down to two. We go to match and that's it. Got our 
myself a little loop. We're gonna record it. And we're gonna make the break. We're not gonna make it as long as the the whole thing. So we're gonna have it repeat itself every 16 beats. So we're gonna do the same thing for this. Except for this is a different amount of beats. This is four. So we're gonna match that to four. It might not even be four for real. I don't know. I think I'm gonna like eight. Okay, so. Super simple, super easy. Bring it down to a lower tempo and boom, eight beats. It's on beat now. And what we say this one was two. Two beats, boom, super simple. like that that made like a little swing itself like and then and then I might even drop the BPM a little bit just to mess with the the speed of the drum break but just a little bit Thank you. 